Science became a sweet and beautiful subject when it started producing hybrid fruits and veggies. You may already know some of the hybrid fruits, but there is a more weird type of hybrid fruit available in the market for the public health betterment. Here is the list of strange hybrid fruits you won't believe exist. Cucamelon. This is the result of crossing cucumber with watermelon. Isn't this the cutest hybrid vegetable you've ever seen? The fruits of the cucamelon vine are just an inch long or so, about the size of grapes, but they resemble tiny striped watermelons. The entire fruit is edible, including the skin. Cucamelons are often used as a garnish for food and drink, and the fruits are often included in dinner salads or fruit salads. The cucamelon has a mildly sweet flavor combined with citrus acidity and a faint sour undertone. It's like a cucumber with a splash of lime juice. Its skin is a little thicker than a cucumber and has a firm, crunchy bite. Its juicy flesh appears translucent and has a soft texture with lots of small seeds that are edible. Cucamelons have a pleasant aroma that is fresh and allegedly summery. Hit the big thumbs up sign below the video if you are liking it, but don't go anywhere. Pineberry. This is a special type of strawberry. And when I say special, I mean the beach strawberry, which can only be found in Hawaii and off the Pacific coast of North and South America. This white berry has red seeds and tastes strangely like pineapple. The hybrid fruit is smaller than the common strawberry, measuring between 15 to 23 millimeters. Pine berries are not just tasty fruits with pleasing aromas, they can also be described as being nutritious. Pine berry nutrition includes different antioxidants and minerals such as vitamin A, folate, vitamin C, manganese, potassium, carbohydrates, and fiber. Pine berries have up to 91% water and contain low quantities of fats and proteins. All these nutrients are required to boost the proper functioning of the body. It can prevent the occurrence of heart disease, enhance the body's defense system, and is perfectly pregnancy nutrition. Pine berry supports high energy levels and can increase fiber content. With the variety of medicinal benefits that one can get from pine berries, these can be adequately regarded as blessed fruit. Tangelo Tangelos are a cross between tangerines and grapefruits, or pomelos. Created by the USDA biologist named Walter Swingle, the tangelo is super juicy and incredibly larger than an ordinary tangerine. Sometimes referred to as honey bells, tangelos have a juicy tangerine flavor without the bitter taste of the grapefruit. They are larger than a traditional tangerine and are distinguishable by the characteristic nipple at the stem. Their skin loosens easily, making them a great substitute for mandarins or sweet oranges. Tangelo fruits are very beneficial for your health. They are low in calories and contain many important minerals and vitamins. Tangelo is good for the heart as they lower cholesterol levels. A buildup of cholesterol in the body can block the walls of arteries and narrow passages. This can lead to poor blood flow and ultimately heart attacks. Patients with chronic heart disease can greatly benefit from tangelo. For easier choosing of tangelos, it is necessary to take into account their three main characteristics, color, peel, and weight of the product. The exotic fruit cannot have any stains and must be brightly colored. At the same time, it is good only when its peel has a holistic structure. There can be no doubt about the weight of the tangelo. Any fruit becomes quite light when the pulp dries out. Jostaberry. Anyone tasting a jostaberry would think it is a cross between a gooseberry and black currant, and for good reason. Both species are part of the jostaberry cultivar. Though many people enjoy the jostaberry, in the 36 years since its development, no one has been able to successfully harvest the fruit on a commercial scale. Jostaberries add a delicious flavor to homemade ice cream and are excellent in pies, cakes, and when stewed. A wonderful jam can be made using ripened berries. Savory uses are in chicken dishes and salads or for great chutneys and relish. Josta berries are an excellent fruit to eat fresh or after they have been refrigerated. It can also be processed into cordials, beverages, wine, jellies, preservatives, pies, and jams. The best jam is made using fully ripened berries. Apart from its culinary benefit, it has several health benefits as it is loaded with vitamin C. A healthy dose of Josta berry protects our body from infections and maintains healthy bones and teeth. It also improves our body's ability to repair wounds and keep us immune from bacteria, viruses, and infection. Pluot. Plums and apricots come from the same genus, Prunus. This made crossing the two fruits relatively easy for Floyd Zager, a Nebraskan biologist noted for his work in fruit genetics. The Pluot now has a number of different varieties. 
In the 13 years since it was created, the fruit has become relatively popular amongst consumers. According to nutritionist Dr. Josh Axe, the non-genetically modified food could help prevent high blood sugar as they have had a low glycemic index. Such food are better for diabetes patients as it takes longer for them to break down into sugars in the body. Contrary to popular belief, pluots are not genetically modified. They were developed when farmer and geneticist Floyd Zager cross-pollinated plums and apricots. Over 20 fruits exist with the non-genetically modified pluot family, including the candy stripe, the flavor heart, and the dapple dandy. You can find pluots in many grocery stores and some farmers markets between August and October. As usual, we like to know how you feel about the video so we can get you more like it. But first, click the like button to warm our hearts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss any interesting videos like this one. Done? Let's go! Blood Lime Blood oranges already exist, but did you know there are other bloody citrus fruits? Eating a plain lime may be too torturous for the ordinary person without having a miracle fruit to dull the bitterness. Blood limes are sweeter than the ordinary ones because they are a cross between the Endale Mandarin and the Red Finger Lime. The flesh inside is red like that of a blood orange. It has a tangy flavor while being smaller in size and sweeter than your traditional lime. This hybrid cannot be cut up like the finger lime and is generally used as a garnish or to make marmalades, preservatives, beverages, and sauces. The skin can be eaten with the fruit. It is usually red or burgundy, but can sometimes be green like the standard lime. The fruit is egg-shaped in winter. The medium-sized trees, which have thorns, may be used as ornamental plants. While the limes proved suitable for high salt conditions, they have seen no commercial development. The first for sale crop appeared in markets in Australia in July 2004 and is under consideration for export. Are you a raw vegan? If you want to maintain a plant-based diet, then stick around to the end. But drop us a comment anytime in the section below the video. Kalalini The flavor of Kalalini is sweetly succulent. It has the nuttiness of cauliflower, but a natural sweetness, especially in the stem. Like any of your favorite cauliflower, broccoli, or broccolini recipe, kalalini can be grilled, roasted, baked, or sautéed. It would also make a tasty addition to a grilled vegetable platter or fresh crudite plate for your favorite homemade dip. It sounds like there isn't much that kalalini cannot do except maybe turn into rice, but we'll leave that to another vegetable. Celtus is a mashup of celery and lettuce, though the hybrid here is only the name of the vegetable. The plant does resemble a cross between lettuce and celery too further contributing to the confusion. The Celtus plant itself is not a hybrid. It is simply an Asian variety of lettuce. Celtus is sometimes referred to instead as stem lettuce, Chinese lettuce, or asparagus lettuce. Unlike with other types of lettuce, the flavor of Celtus does not suffer from bolting, so gardeners can harvest and eat their crops even if hot weather causes Celtus to bolt. Colettes. Colettes are a cross between kale and Brussels sprouts. The new veggie was created by Tozer Seeds, a British vegetable breeding company that brought the vegetable to the United States in the fall of 2014. The non-genetically modified vegetable took 15 years to perfect. In the early stages of Colette's development, Brussels sprouts were dropping out of popularity in the UK, and the new hybrid was thought of as a potential way to increase the veggie's popularity. According to the Colette's website, the inspiration behind the plant came from a desire to create a kale-type vegetable that was versatile, easy to prepare, and looked great. The website claims that crossing kale with Brussels sprouts was a natural fit since they are both from the Brassica oleicera species. The species also includes cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. One interesting fact is that Colette's, like many dark leafy greens, are very high in vitamin C and K. But hold your breath for the next one. Ugly Fruit The Ugly Fruit is a trademark name for what is, at least in part, a Jamaican tangelo. But Cabell Hall Citrus Company added another citrus fruit into the tangelo mix to make its variant. The Seville Orange joins the grapefruit and tangerine hybrid, giving extra tang and flavor. The fruit is juicy, and its taste is often described as sweet and tangy with slight notes of bitterness. Ugly fruit is a cross between an orange and a grapefruit. To enjoy it, cut it in half, loosens the segments, and eat it straight out of the peel with a spoon. Ugly fruit is in season from December through April. 
The later it matures in the season, the sweeter the fruit. When picking your ugly fruit, choose one that feels too heavy for its size and give slightly pressure from your palm, similar to a grapefruit. You'll thank me later. Lime Quat A cross between a lime and a kumquat, the lime quat takes out some of the harsh acidity of the citrus fruit and replaces it with soft, sweet skin. Some people still find the tang too much to take, though. Most consumers find them too tart to eat plain and often prefer to use them in jams or chutneys. The fruit, including the skin, is edible, but a good number of gardeners grow lime quats for ornamental purposes. Just like the tangelo, the lime quat was hybridized by Walter Swingle. This hybrid has a sweet and edible skin while still retaining the bitter pulp of the lime. Lime quats are usually ready for harvest from November through March. The fruit is picked green, then ripens to yellow. Lime quat plant care is relatively easy. Just keep your tree protected from the cold. The best time to plant a lime quat is early spring. Yuzu Mandarins and papadas were joined in a zoological matrimony held in East Asia and produced the yuzu. Yuzu fruits are used in Japanese and Korean cooking, particularly for ponzu sauce, but are less popular in the West. Because the yuzu is considered a citron, its juice is minimal per fruit, thus often expensive. You could enjoy sliced and grated green yuzu rind with salad and sashimi dishes. It gives a spicy citrus flavor and is truly delicious. Yuzu trees produce green fruits from June to August. From November to December, the fruit ripens and turns a bright golden yellow. To protect American growers from diseases prevalent in Asian groves, fresh yuzu cannot legally be imported into the United States. Yuzu trees were unofficially introduced into California before 1888, grown in home gardens by Japanese-American aficionados. Plum Cot You guessed it! This is a cross between a plum and an apricot. Like most on the list, this fruit is a cross-pollination of two plants from the same species or genus. It takes years of selective breeding to produce a hybrid fruit. The plum cot, for example, took a biologist over 20 years of research and experimentation. There are many different types of plum cot. Some are half plum, half apricot, while others are mostly plum. One well-known type is the pluot. This is the trademark name for plum cots that were developed in the 1980s by Floyd Zager. We talked about them earlier, remember? Pluot season is mid to late summer, but they're often available through October. Like heirloom tomato varieties, pluots have a whimsical names like Dapple Dandy, Dinosaur Egg, and Flavor Grenade. The best way to enjoy a pluot is the easiest way, right over the sink. Juice is flying hopefully into your mouth. Tayberry The British summer season of blackberry and raspberry picking is popular. In 1979, growers found a way to combine both fruits into the tayberry. These berries have a sweet tart flavor. They are sweeter, larger, and more aromatic than the Logan berry, and their high level of pectin makes them a great choice for jam. Tay berries do not pick well by hand and cannot be machine harvested. The berry is also difficult to pick industrially, so it has never been incorporated into commercial farming crops. Well, you might not find much of them around the markets, but you can grow your own. The tay berry can be eaten fresh or used to make jams, pies, wine, or beer. It grows reasonably well in many soils. Tay berries produce the most berries when in full sun and in well-drained soil with a high amount of organic materials. The mature tay berry fruit, reddish purple when ripe, is cone-shaped and can be up to 4 centimeters long. As a domestic crop, this plant has gained the Royal Horticultural Studies Award of Garden Merit. Worthy of a try, huh? Tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. Brocco Flower Brocco Flower, also called Romanesco, is originally grown in Holland and has been in the U.S. market since 1989. Although it stayed mostly in specialty stores since then, its growing popularity means it's becoming a mainstream product. It tastes similar to cauliflower, but with a crunchier texture and a nuttier taste. For all you math nerds, Brocco Flower is also a fractal food. Romanesco also has great nutritional value, providing zinc, carotenoids, iron, vitamin C, and folate, which do wonders for the reproductive system. This flowery vegetable also contains glucosinolates and thiocyanates, which help strengthen the liver against potentially toxic substances. Romanesco broccoli has a similar but milder, sweeter, and nuttier flavor than both broccoli and cauliflower. This pleasant, mild flavor lends itself to a wide range of dishes and flavor combinations. 
The florets are dense, like cauliflower, but slightly tenderer. Pluary. The pluary was made for cherry lovers who wished there was more to the fruit to enjoy. It combines the sweetness of the cherry with the zing of a plum. Its flavor changes depending on the ratio of plum to cherry. Some pluaries can be very sweet with a small pit, similar to the cherry's small pit. You can often taste the individual flavors of the parent trees, plum, cherry, peach, and apricot. When fully ripe, the fruit is extremely sweet, less tart and not as firm. As also noted that later on in the season, this fruit has stronger apricot flavors. Pluries are available in the summer month. They offer the same nutritional benefits as plums, such as dietary fiber, vitamin A, vitamin K, and anthocyanins, which have antioxidant capabilities. Since this is the new fruit, the official numbers are not exactly agreed upon. The sweet treat plurie has an upright growth habit that rather narrow notches angles. The best planting time is late fall to winter. Cotton Candy Grapes this strange fruit seems to have been crossed with candy grapes, the floss of all things. The very sweet grapes were created in California using absolutely no chemicals. And here's the shocker. The seeds for this grape plant only come from a test tube. Get ready for an endless free supply of cotton candy because flavors like mango, strawberry, gummy bear, and Skittles will soon be available to plant. These might be the sweetest grapes known to man. You'll just order your favorite flavor from a lab and it will be made in a test tube. Scientists are already testing several flavors of these weird sweet grapes. Much like normal grapes, cotton candy grapes come with a long list of healthy benefits. They can keep your blood sugar stable, provide a concentrated dose of antioxidants, relieve inflammation, and boost brain function. One of the most impressive health benefits of grapes is their ability to help protect against cancer. Grapes are literally loaded with compounds like polyphenols and antioxidants that can kill off and prevent the spread of cancer cells. Even raisins have been shown to fight cancer cells in some studies. Broccoli. One of the most commonly grown hybrids out there is broccolini, sometimes called broccoli. You'll sometimes see broccolini sold under the name baby broccoli, but this isn't an accurate description. Broccolini is actually a cross between standard broccoli and a Chinese vegetable called gan lan. The resulting crossbred vegetable is long stalked, about the same thickness as asparagus, and topped with a small budded florets. It has a sweeter flavor and a more tender, toothsome texture than the standard broccoli. The veggie is excellent when roasted, grilled, steamed, or stir-fried. The word broccoli comes from the Italian word broccolo, which means the flowering up of the cabbage. In the United States, California produces 90% of the crop. The U.S. ranks third in the world for the production of broccoli after China and India. Ecotum. This mellow tasting fruit has the texture of a peach, but tastes more like a combination of a plum and apricot. It's like eating a fruit punch. The texture of the tender flesh is said to resemble a peach. This has been on the market for a few years now, ever gaining popularity. In addition to Bella Royale, the other cultivar, Bella Cherries, is available to commercial growers. A third, Bella Gold, has been offered to home gardeners. Peaches offer significant amounts of magnesium, phosphorus, iron, and some B vitamins. In addition, they're packed with antioxidants, beneficial plant compounds that combat oxidative damage that can help protect your body against aging and disease. In one study, juice from fresh peaches demonstrated antioxidant action in healthy men within 30 minutes of consumption. One medium-sized fruit provides about 2 grams of fiber, half of which is soluble, while the other half is insoluble. Peaches may lower risk factors for heart disease, such as high blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Brussel kale. This organic food goes by a few other names, including Brussel kale, lollipops, calates, and flower sprouts. With a more subtle flavor than Brussels sprouts and the mild, sweet taste of kale, this green and purple veggie resembles little cabbage leaves. It can be eaten raw, steamed, sautéed, or stir-fried. British vegetable seed company Tozer Seeds has been developing Brussels kale for 15 years by traditional crop breeding. It was introduced by the University of Minnesota in 1960 as a cross of mucoan and honey gold apples. Brussels sprouts are rich in antioxidant compounds that contribute to healthier cells and a lower risk of cancer. Try chopping fresh Brussels sprouts for a salad or roasting them with garlic and a savory mustard sauce for an easy and delicious weeknight side dish. Brussels sprouts are also rich in vitamin K, which improves your bone strength and treats injuries. 
A 2017 study found that eating a diet rich in vitamin K every day was associated with a lower risk of fractures. Give your bones a dose of vitamin K and calcium with those delicious Brussels sprouts au gratin. Your taste buds will thank you too. Rangpur Lime is the hybrid fruit with the closest taste and consistency to a Rangpur. In fact, its binomial name, the name assigned to species in Citrus limonia, it is named after the Bangladeshi city in which it was first found. In China, the Rangpur is referred to as a Canton lemon, while in Costa Rica, Rangpurs are more popular than lemons and limes. The fruit has a very acidic taste and are best suited for both raw and cooked applications. This is showcased when used fresh as the finishing ingredient or flavor agent. The zest and juice can be taken in cocktails such as margaritas, gin and tonics, and gimlets. Rangpur limes can also be used in simple syrups, incorporated into sparkling water and iced tea. You may also have them in marmalades, curds, jams, and baked goods such as key lime pie, cheesecake, and creme brulee. Rangpur limes pair well with the juniper berry, bay leaves, lavender, rosemary, honey, almonds, rice, noodles, and meats such as pork, beef, poultry, and seafood. In savory preparations, the limes can be blended into hummus, sauces such as hollandaise, juiced for ceviche, and mixed in guacamole. They can also be juiced and used as a marinade or salt preserve for a topping over pork, beef, seafood, soups, salads, and vegetables. The limes will stay fresh for one week when stored at room temperature and for two to four weeks in the refrigerator. There's so much you can do and see about hybrid fruits and vegetables, but here's one hybrid that defied science. Banana Kiwi Hybrid Many people have been asking about the Banana Kiwi Hybrid. Scientists have been working on producing Banana Kiwi Hybrid for a long time. There is a video on YouTube where a scientist shows how to make a banana kiwi fruit. He suggests taking a piece of banana and a piece of kiwi and putting them together under the soil and watering it. After about three weeks, it matures into full fruit. He cut it and showed that it has the beautiful green flesh of the kiwi. Furthermore, he confirmed that it tastes like mixing both fruits. After watching this video, many people tried to produce banana kiwi hybrid, but unfortunately nobody succeeded. Many scientists said to produce the new hybrid fruit, it needs to be genetically modified rather than combining two pieces of fruit. If you take a closer look at the end product, you will realize it is clearly not real. It even may even have a stem to connect it to other bananas, just like bananas that grow on a tree. But this one is simply illogical. Some of those who believed it are sharing this video with comments like, gotta try this. What do you think about this hybrid? Is it real or fake? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Which one is your favorite hybrid fruit? Have you seen any of these in real life? Let us know in the comment section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.